Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Atula Pinke, and in today's video, we're going to discuss what if the stock market, uh, you know, dump again? Can it stay down? What has happened in the past? And I'm going to talk about uh, the Japanese uh, Nikkei 225, what happened to it back in 1989. So it could be a very uh, interesting thing if that can happen to Dow Jones. Okay, this is just a theory, but let's discuss it, okay? Uh, second news will be that Comp is the new king of DeFi as there is uh, lockdown money in it, over $1 billion. And that's crazy because Comp was, uh, you know, just listed two weeks ago. This is a Compound's uh, token. And the third news is that Bloomberg is bullish on Bitcoin. They uh, accept uh, outbreak maybe even in one month time. So these will be the three top news we have today. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then you can do it now here on YouTube. Subscribe and also click on the notification bell so you get the videos as soon as they out because I put videos on YouTube from Monday to Friday every day. So every weekday, a new video about blockchain and cryptocurrency. So we truly keep you up to date. And you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And now it's time to check out the market, how it looks like at the present. Okay, so Bitcoin, we have Bitcoin right now, $9,068. Yesterday it was under 9,000. So actually a little bit recovered, but well, look at this, 0.17% in plus in the last 24 hours. So still sleeping, to be honest with you. And all like the top three, sorry, top 10, if you look at them. Nothing major happening. Okay, then we have the top winner, Swissborg. It dumped, but now it's, you know, recovering uh, like crazy. 24% in plus in the last 24 hours. We have Bitcoin Gold, 21%. And we have uh, Nervous Network, 12% uh, in plus. When we check out the losers, 25% in minus Fluxicoin. Then we have Ave, minus 4%. And Loopring, minus 3%. Okay. And now check out the first uh, topic what we have. You know, we had this dump uh, on the market now in this year in March. And uh, now everything kind of recovered. If you look at the S&P 500, you look at NASDAQ, they all recovered pretty well. But now the bubble is just growing and growing and growing. There are no real you know, numbers uh, behind it, which actually would protect this position. Therefore, another crash is very likely. And uh, when there's another crash, we can believe that maybe this W shape theory can work. So now we have this V shape, you know, when it goes down and back, just like now. But if there's another crash, then it could be the W shape. However, uh, when we check out what happened back in uh, 1989 here in Japan, then you can see that it can be actually worse. You know, the Japanese economy was truly doing very, very well. And uh, I try to zoom in here a little bit so you can see the dates. Yeah, here's now is better. So look how they grew uh, since the 70s. And then in, back in 1987, they had a crash. But they recovered from it, and it actually went higher and higher and higher. And uh, look, it went up to uh, 38,000, almost 39,000. And then in 1989, that was the big one. And the interesting in this story, you know, there was the real estate babble in, 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 in Japan and many other things which caused this, that uh, if you look at it, and here are the years, it wasn't really a, a you know, a V-shape kind of thing uh, pumping back. The old years went by and, uh, okay, now I zoom in a little bit. And you can see that till today, we have here 2020, it hasn't recovered yet. And that's crazy. We're talking about here about 30 years. 30 years and it couldn't find its path back to the top. And... Uh, which is even uh, more crazy that here the article says that it found its bottom in 2009. So here, 20 years later, basically, hang on, 89, yeah, 
20 years theater, exactly, was its button when it was at 7,000. It fell from 30, almost 39,000. And uh, this is crazy if you think about it. For 20 years, it was just going down and down. And then it started to now recover, but also it was uh, strongly hit by the virus. And then, uh, look, it's, it's, it's going down again. But that's happening to, to all the markets uh, at the present. So we just have to consider that, okay, it may be there is now another crash, it comes down, but what if it stays down? Because what if there is too much money in the system? What if inflation, hyperinflation is coming? What if the dollar is that, that uh, you know, fiat currency is not surviving uh, this crash? So we have to be really careful. And obviously, if these things happening, it feels strongly affect uh, the crypto market as well. It can, of course, uh, recover sooner. And it can happen, actually, that all because of this, that the stock market is not really recovering, the crypto market will be the one where people will put the money and that will actually pump back Bitcoin and all the others and maybe there will be new all-time highs. So there are many theories now. Of course, we don't know really the future, but I just wanted to point out to you guys that it's not always the case that when it you know uh, comes down, it straight away goes back, up and down. It can happen that it stays down for longer and this is what happened in Japan. Japan was a really strong in economy back in the 1970s, okay? So this uh, was the first news I wanted to talk about. The second one is that uh, the new king of DeFi is a compound. And, you know, it's token comp because it's right now uh, over $1 billion locked down in uh, compound. And uh, this is actually a really big number, just uh, considering the fact that uh, comp was just listed two weeks ago, uh, it's token. And uh, it's divided basically between uh, BAT, Ethereum, and USDC. Here you can see the percentages, like uh, 31% uh, it's in BAT, then 23% in Ethereum, uh, then we have 22 in USDC. And this is uh, among almost 30,000 users. So right now, DeFi, it's really killing it. Right now, DeFi is the one which leading the cryptocurrency market, the DeFi tokens, the DeFi projects, and Bitcoin is really, and the top 10 is really sleeping in the last uh, three weeks. But in this period of time, uh, you could make money in DeFi. And of course, there's probably a DeFi bubble which we're building now because it's maybe just too early. But it can happen that right now DeFi just keep going up and this will be the biggest push uh, for the next bull market. We'll see. But right now, uh, among the cryptocurrencies, the DeFi projects are the strongest. And Comp is now doing really well. You know, $1 billion lockdown in Comp already. Okay, and uh, the third news I would like to discuss is Bloomberg. Bloomberg is getting more and more bullish on Bitcoin. You know, they had this uh, prediction back in the in previous in, in the last article uh, two months ago or a month ago, something like that, that they say maybe Bitcoin will reach 28,000 even this year. But uh, now they believe that, you know, this is the critical range between 6,500 and 13,000. And if it breaks over 13,000, then it can really start to go up. But uh, the criteria is it shouldn't fall under 6,500, 6,500, sorry, because then it may be uh, and other things are happening here. And we don't know what's happening now in the close future if the market will crash again, maybe in uh, July, in next month, or who knows, of course, we never know where is the top it can happen that it will push it down. You know, the, the, the previous one, back in March, it pushed down uh, Bitcoin uh, just under 4,000. Okay, for a very short period of time, then it started to come back, and it was like uh, some level, uh, 5,000 5, something, 6,000, 7,000, and it went back to 9,000, and also went just over 10,000, and now it's around 9,500, and between 9,000 for a long time, for, for weeks now. And uh, let's see what's going to happen with that. Because if it goes under 6,500, then it's maybe another scenario. But if it stays uh, above it, then uh, according to the Bloomberg article, it definitely looks bullish. 
Okay, so, you know, these are the, the bullish news <laughs> all about the Bitcoin. You know, we have to be optimistic because Bitcoin will work pretty well in the long term. You know, don't worry about now in the short term. Okay, this is now happening uh, around the world. But all markets are hit with this present situation. And if they're, you know, we going towards the, uh, uh, you know, depression, then, of course, it can affect this for a period of time but then it will recover and then maybe we can see new all-time highs. So anyway, if you're interested in blockchain and cryptocurrency, then you definitely should subscribe to this channel because I'm putting on videos every day from Monday to Friday, every weekday, a brand new video about the blockchain and cryptocurrency news. So we keep you up to date for sure. And uh, you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And because today is Monday, tomorrow is Tuesday, and that means another video. So I'm coming back with a brand new video tomorrow. I hope you see you guys uh, tomorrow as well. And I wish you an amazing day. And if you like this video, then please press the like button. I highly, highly appreciate it. And uh, Okay, see you guys tomorrow then. Bye-bye.